welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. It's never energized unless a train is coming. So it only energizes when a train is coming, and then it de-energizes when it passes. But even if it was fully energized and you stood on it, you would not be electric. That's Long Island business leader Ernie Fazio speaking at the book review about his book, Maglev America, How Maglev Will Transform the World Economy. I've always had a penchant for science. My father and my uncle invented things, and I would sit on the bench when I was a kid, and I would watch these guys, and I saw them having a wonderful time. <laughs> they, they were really enjoying themselves, so I really got interested in not only them, but at what they were doing. Maglev technology was developed on Long Island at Brookhaven National Laboratory. Well, the Maglev train is an idea that came about around 1966. It was patented in 1966. It was very primitive in its design. It, it developed and it redeveloped and it redeveloped some more. We're at a point where it's really a magnificent machine. And um, I'm very excited about making it happen. Worldwide, there's a few countries using maglev technology for transportation. You know, the, the Japanese have a very similar model to the one we're building now, that we have designed now. But the Germans have built something that was of our most primitive uh, invention, and it's a very good machine. High-speed trains have been difficult to develop in the United States. It doesn't have to be high speed. It's just a very efficient way to move things. If you can lift things off the uh, off a roadbed with uh, and move it along at virtually no energy at all, uh, it becomes very attractive. It uses more energy as you go faster because you have wind resistance, and we find that the 300 miles an hour is the place where we want to be. Three, two, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. In his book, Ernie Fazio points out that a maglev sled can be used to launch rockets into space. It's very expensive to move hardware into space, and yet we can do it for a fraction of that. In other words, it costs about $5,000 a pound to get a payload up. We can do it for about $5 a pound. How so? Why? Well, because we're not using all those heavy-duty rockets. We're using electromotive forces that move it very, very quickly and very cheaply. Now, the infrastructure to build that thing is not cheap. You can launch hundreds and hundreds of rockets, and you can amortize the cost over a long period of time. And you could be the leader in a rocket uh, launching, and you, you could be launching rockets for... Uh, for Japan, for Korea, for Germans, for South America, anybody who wants one, we can do it cheaply. Ernie's not a scientist, so how did he end up being the author of a maglev book? The scientists that I work with had all kinds of written papers too, and they had some really uh, intricate uh, calculations that they worked on to prove things out. And then they decided that they wanted my contribution because I understood concept like very few people do. Replacing a train's mechanical parts with magnets makes plenty of sense to Aaron Meyer. But the key point that he made was we can use the existing infrastructure. As he, as he said, the tracks are already there. The magnetic pads can be placed on the tracks. It used to be your computer, you opened up your hard drive, you had a whole bunch of parts that had to move. Now you have solid state drives. Here you're, you're applying the same kind of principle to trains. Instead of friction, instead of these dangerous things and that wear down over time, you have something that is going to be an improvement. Ernie Fazio points out a great personal benefit to spending years working with geniuses. You know, if you're working on something for 12 years, by osmosis, you're going to get smarter.